this one's growing sideways. Yeah, you leave that one. Leave if that we, one on if there. If we nip it, it'll make sideways twigs. To cut the tip off, like four leaves off the tip, and then it'll make these sideways twigs. See, this is a lot of fruit producing wood here. The sideways growth, that's what we want. So here. So here, you know, cut like, where it grows. see how it starts to turn up? I want to, I want to tip this here. That's pretty good. Good. And then this, I kind of just want to go like right here. And that's all I want to do. It's already looking so much better. And then I need to get yeah. that. So now I'm seeing more fruits at the top. Yeah. Now you can see the fruit and you can see that the, the sunlight is getting to the fruit producing wood. So bigger fruits. And now it's going to put its energy into growing sideways twigs. It for more be... fruit for next year. Yeah. Would it put more energy in the fruits you already have now? Yes. Cool. Because the sunlight's getting to the wood that's feeding those fruit. How about that? So the goal is to try to bring more sunlight in to put more energy in the fruit. Yeah, you wanna. And then, because you're pretty much taking energy from these, the upright branches, branches are taking energy from the tree, right? Yeah, it's to not, grow. The, the sugar is going into making wood. Okay. It's not going into producing fruit or okay. producing fruiting wood. And if you get up here or you can actually see how much fruiting wood and how much fruit was being shaded. those fruit the more it grows the more shaded the fruiting wood will become and that's what leads to alternate bearing people want their fruits every year trying to get scion on wood. This part of the branch is growing vertically, that's good, but where it turns up, something. Doing a haircut on a tree. straight up, just cut it off. And if you, if you look at the top, almost got to reveal the fruit. So this stuff, this is sideways growing, so this is fine. These sideways growing shoots, the new growth from them will make some fruit. But this one that's growing vertically, not so much. And then make sideways branches that could be years. And, you know, you almost need to come up the ladder to see it. I love this. What type of uh, star fruit tree is this? It's either an Arkin or a Cary. We'll have to wait and see the fruit so I can tell the difference. I can't remember when the tag came off many years ago. The dog probably <laughs> grabbed it. I planted one at my house that was an Arkin or a Cary, and one here that was an Arkin or a Cary. 
So, what side of the wall is this one? West. But, you know, it's a tougher tree. It is a lot cold hardier. There's a little yellow jacket. We got down to 25 and it had some rust damage. Not bad.